Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be comparing two amazing fast shotguns but before we get into this video if you like it hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of content in general hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell but let's get right into the video so the first weapon we're going to be looking at is the Spas and the second one is the Sega these two shotguns are amazing they're fast shotguns and if you are pretty inaccurate these are amazing amazing weapons to have so first looking at the spots we have a damage of 110 accuracy of 245 fire rate of 2.5 holder of seven rounds and total ammo of 28 next we have the sega which has the specs of 131 damage accuracy of 200 fire rate of 2.5 holder of eight rounds and total ammo of 30 as you know both of these shotguns are very very fast but one shotgun has more damage and the other has more accuracy the spot has nearly 50 points more in accuracy but the sega has 20 points more in damage so it really depends on which weapon you like more uh, do you like damage more do you like accuracy more one thing to also note is the fact that if you could uh you could you have the option th to throw on a fast clip on the sega but you do not have the option on the spots so the uh, sega ends up being faster than the spots and having more damage meaning it will get faster closer distance kills but the spots has the ability to shoot at longer distances meaning it will get more longer distance kills but let's get into the video compare both of these weapons in game see if they are as good in game as they are on paper and then we'll dictate or decide which weapon is actually the better option i know what a lot of you are thinking why would you compare to the sega to the spas the sega is obviously much better but honestly that may not be the case the spas may be the better option we'll just uh, see which type of uh gameplay you like to do more do you like longer distance gameplay if so it is pretty weird that you are using a shotgun shotgun but sometimes you want a shotgun that shoots a little bit farther most shotguns like the dp12 the sega the striker only get the kill if you are about five yards away from your opponent and that's pretty terrible if we're being honest so weapons like the nova or the spas are absolutely amazing at getting longer distance kills and sometimes that's necessary sometimes you're on a map where your opponent isn't right in front of your face your opponent can see you from coming from a decent distance away and you need a shotgun that inflicts damage over like mid distance closer mid distance but yeah let's go into a game compare both of these weapons see which one performs better uh in most circumstances and then we'll label that weapon the best weapon to have honestly i haven't been seeing a lot of sega as a blade either which is interesting wow three hit kill right there i thought it would have gotten a kill much quicker than that maybe two hits but that is considering that this weapon doesn't have any modifications equipped on it yet so let's go attempt number two as you see uh sega does not inflict much damage over longer distances the closer the opponent gets the more damage it inflicts and it has a really wide sh shot radius so it's pellets fly really wide and far away from each other right from the start um but the closer you get the more accurate it is the more damage it inflicts so it takes up to five shots to get a kill depending on how far the opponent is or one shot if you get a headshot from really close distances really depends on where you're standing where the player is all that good stuff now moving on over to the spas let's test this weapon out i've been loving it since my review yesterday and I think it's an amazing gun to have. Uh, let's move in a little bit. Since this gun is a little bit more accurate, you should get a little bit quicker kills. There you see two hit kill, one head, uh, one headshot, one body shot, but all the pellets didn't land. Obviously, this weapon isn't at its maximum damage or accuracy potential since we don't have any customizations equipped there, but a three hit kill. Another thing to also note is the fact that the spas does take longer to reload since you have to load each bullet individually. Uh, with the Sega, you could just put on a new magazine so the reload times are much, much quicker as well. These are two of the best uh, options for fast shotguns. Obviously, you still have the striker. The striker is a really, really close distance weapon as well. So you have to be essentially in front of your op opponent's face to get that kill. But it's much faster than both of these weapons. And it's a little bit less accurate than both of these weapons. Or a little bit more accurate, correct myself, uh, than both of these weapons as well. But as you could see, Chris is doing, um, uh, the Chris is doing 
absolutely phenomenal. At closer distances, it compares very well to shotguns. And, uh, yeah. Stacks up really, really nicely. Moving on in. Two shots, one body, one head, and nice kill there. Decapitated, decapitated that person right there. And two shots once again. So, in most cases, both the Spas and the Sega only require two shots to get the kill. Sometimes even one, but pretty rarely. You gotta be pretty close to your opponent. You gotta have pretty good accuracy. Uh, and you gotta land a headshot if you wanna get a one hit kill with both of these weapons. But they, it is possible. In most cases, I said, uh, as I said, it requires about two shots. Uh, and in some three shots. So both of these uh, shotguns are absolutely amazing. I believe when I have them fully modified, they'll perform much, much better than they are right now. But if you like fast shotguns, definitely, definitely the way to go. If you don't have the money for the Sega, uh, or for the Spas, I would go for the Sega. Uh, still an amazing second weapon. But I believe that the Spas is a little bit better for two reasons. Number one, it is quicker. And number two, it has much much faster reloads but yeah guys that is the review of these two weapons comparison review um if you liked it hit that thumbs up button i know this video was super super quick but i just wanted to create a super qu a quick to the point video today uh and i hope you liked it if you did hit that thumbs up button if you like kaboom content in general i post it a lot uh so hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell while you are staying home and trying to keep safe go ahead run me through my playlist i have 250 plus videos on kaboom all comparing all reviewing weapons uh and i think you'll find it very informative but yeah guys that's all for today uh i hope you have an amazing amazing day and i am out